Hello ladies and gentlemen, yes, Zeke here again today to make sure I'm actually recording to bring you another episode of Let's Play Monster Hunter Generate, no, Double Cross. There we go. I get a bit confused about all these monster hunters these days. Have I already eaten? No, I just didn't sit at the table. Fair enough. So, I am actually back to my, my gun lance that I got from the Snow Bear and Legombi. And I am very slowly regaining my ability to speak, which I apparently lost at some indeterminate time in the past. So that's a good thing, you know. Always be improving, always be regaining your ability to speak. That's all you can really ask for. Okay, now to figure out what I should be fighting right now. I'm pretty sure I know what I should be fighting, but I don't know if I know what I should be fighting. If you know what I know. If you know what I know what I mean. Okay, it's definitely a Tetsukabra. That is the answer. And Tetsukabra, probably bad against ice. Don't really know, but... It's always safe to assume. No, it's not. Um... I've actually created... Oh, I've actually created a capture set for myself. So I should probably check to see if this is actually a capture quest. You know what? I'll capture the monster no matter what, because... As was said to me yesterday... You can can fail a kill quest by, or you can you can complete a kill quest with capture. You can't complete a capture quest with kill. Good thing to remember. Also to remember when to remember to remember when you lost your mind. And this is an unusual place to start, but that is all right. Pretty sure I know where Tetsukabra is going to be at. Gonna be in like that stone area that he always starts in. And you know, I still think this might have been slightly closer to. No, no, this time I actually did start further away from the monster as a res result of the random map. Usually you start closer though. Like four out of five locations would have been closer. Well, four out of seven, I guess. I don't know. Just don't listen to me. Just ignore me. Because I'm a lazy bastard, I will of course be taking the Mega Dash juice right away. And getting them traps ready. Lovely. Tetsu, and seemingly a particularly small one. Tetsus have a lot of size variants. Either that, or I just never remember how big they are. Or small, for that matter. Because half the time I fight them, I'm like, wow, this guy's giant. And the other half, I'm like... This, these are so much smaller than I remember them being. Oh! Lovely. Always love when one of those goes off during a recording. That's... Ow! I dispute that that hit me. That is not... I was behind that attack. And I got the mount off, so this is going to be a good time for a wyvern fire say that every time I do the first mount of the game, but it's true every time. Okay. Maybe I'll even get the toad tier this time. Who knows? Anything's possible. You can do anything if you try. The most impossible tiers are retrievable if you believe it. This is my kind of song. It's the kind that makes no sense. This is the song. Ah. Oh. Kind of screwed that up. I'm going to have to wait for him to go down again. Or be beside him when he's doing something silly. He just jump in the air with that rock in his mouth? Like nothing else, just a jump? Ow! Hmm. Definitely not dead yet in this... Or, um... Ah! God damn him all. I've been told. So I did actually get both of his tusks? No, just one so far. Ow. Is that a heal that you're giving me right now? No, it is a something else. I 
keep forgetting that he can actually damage me through my shield in high rank. I'm getting one of these tiers. Oh, jumped right over me. Nice. Very nice. There. Both toad tiers are mine for the taking, and he's leaving, so I might as well use this opportunity to reload, grab a couple potions, do a little dance, get down tonight, get down tonight. All the usual. Area 7. It's probably going to be even worse in um, Worlds, but every, every once in a while you kind of forget about the map and you just focus on hunting the monsters. So you're like, what's in Area 7 again? I never really know. I'm not sure what I'm trying to say even. Like if you told me where to retrieve monster eggs in th on this specific map, I would probably not be able to tell you. Boom. Oh, I kind of hit him. Lovely, good time for a mount. I missed with that Dragon Blast, but I can definitely hit with the Wyvern Fire. I also did break both his horns now. Which is much harder to do in low rank. I was actually talking to somebody in chat about that a while ago during a stream. It's like, is there such a thing as doing too much damage? I'm like, yeah, specifically, you can do too much damage that you kill the monster before you can break any of its parts. And I'm really, I'm not sure if like break damage is a specific stat, but it really seems like if you're doing damage fast, it's nearly impossible to break parts. Just like how if you play Gunlance, it's nearly impossible to get any monster tails. So you have to play online. <laughs> No, oh, he's down. Did that hit get him in the face? Damn. Was really hoping for a slightly better timed unload there. I thought I was going to be able to. That is a tiny rock. Have you talked to your doctor about that? Have I made this joke before? My guess is probably. We all got a flinch. Now, if he focuses an attack, and I can see that from the start of the attack on one of my palicos, I can definitely go and do a quick sharpen here. Perfect. Also did damage his back leg. Ow. No flint. No flint, Mr. Tetsu. That rock, I swear that sometimes it is nowhere near me when it hits me. Okay, don't get flustered. You screwed up one reload, you can still get a good hit off this, this down period, for lack of a better word. Are all his legs individually breakable? It seems like that might be the case. Which just shows me that I focus far too much on the right side of said monster. I need to go. No! No! I'm not sure why that no was so weird. It's like my voice died out halfway through saying it. Oh well, let us be taking the map now. Okay, and I actually got my regular supplies too. Um, bit of a problem with the health. No, it's not ideal to be so low on health while fighting any monster. Always want to have at least eaten. It's just very easy to accidentally die when you lose your health, which is why you should bring ancient potion max potions, but... Do I look like the type of person who brings max potions to a fight? Never bring a max potion to a gunfight. Seriously, those guys kill you in one hit. Not worth it. Potion won't heal you. I'm gonna check area 7 before I use a Psycho Serum. 
because there's a good possibility that he has not moved quite yet. Not yet, not yet. There's monkeys all around. Something about the ground. Really, that song didn't get off to a good start. It didn't have anything to do with the situation. Where are you, Tetsu? You moved to area eight. I guess I could kind of describe each area to you as I look on the like look, look at them on a map. But like two and four, they have mushrooms and herbs. So I'm not sure if either of them have mining spots. I think one has like a bug catching spot, and one's generally full of cure or kelbies. That was close. Oh. I'm going to accept that because it helped me reload. Okay, you know what? I'm fine with this. I think I'm gonna go for Dragon Blast first since my damage is currently maxed out. He almost always roars directly after doing his um his jump around. Jump up, jump up, and get down. Jump around. That was some weird control stuff going on there for a second. Might as well do a full unload with only two shots. I'm not gonna get much uh, much time other than that. Boom. There we go. He's gonna get up way before I get there. Oh, never mind, got the kill. I wasn't aware that he was in this area to sleep. Well, one death ain't bad. Not sure why I felt I needed to go down to that area of the body to gather, but that's all right. Probably find something that somebody will eat as a delicacy. Hey, my cows! My cows! Sound like a farmer who just lost all his cows or was herding them somewhere and then they got distracted. I don't know. I don't know much about farming. Come on. I guess we're playing the same game here, Macau. You jump, I jump. We all jump for ice jump. Again, also forgetting the number one rule of Monster Hunter, especially when you get into a new rank. Every time you finish a fight, you should look for the nearest thing to gather and just gather it. Oh, well, sometimes you win, sometimes you don't. This accent is not even a real, ac real accent. I keep changing accents in mid-accent. That is ridiculous. Ooh, armor sphere. I think I needed one of those to upgrade my current set a tiny bit more. I should probably actually spend some time soon getting a better set that has, since I'm in high rank, I can probably find another set that isn't absolutely ludicrous that has guard up and and um, artillery expert. And I could even, if I found that tack on a, uh, Oh, what's it called? Actually, am I... Do I have my stuff properly done? One second. One second here. That's not my stats. That's not them either. Okay, 15 and 10. I got it. So, it doesn't appear that I have unlocked any more quests, although the Tetsu, I'm pretty sure, was a key quest. Let's see if anyone wants to talk to me. Somebody wants to talk to me in this area? Really? Anyways, this is where I'm going to call it for the day, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please do like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.